A very good afternoon to all the viewers and listeners. Uh, welcome to the reading of this uh, monetary policy statement for the month of March 2024. On March 6, 2024, a special monetary policy committee, MPC meeting, increased the central bank rate, CBR, to 10%. The unfolding of some of the risks mentioned in the monetary policy statement of February 2024, which includes the depreciation of the shilling exchange rate, has triggered the need for monetary policy to be tightened. The inflation outturns in February 2024 indicate that both headline and core inflation rose to 3.4% from 2.8% and 2.4% in January 2024, respectively. Whereas the main contributors to the rise in inflation are services and energy, fuel, and utilities, this combined with the shilling depreciation could spill over into a generalized price. The exchange rate depreciation since November 20. 23, with a sharp depreciation in February 2024, was in part caused by the outflow of some offshore investor funds from the domestic market pursuing more attractive yields available in other markets, strong domestic demand, partly as a hedging mechanism against further depreciation and seasonal factors. Further external depreciation could drive inflation above the medium term target of 5% by the second half of 2024. Additionally, whereas the downward inflationary pressures are rising from the continuing vanishing effects of supply side shocks, receding inflation around the world, and improved domestic food supply, these are likely to be outweighed by the effects of a weaker shilling. The inflation trajectory going forward would be shaped by the outlook on the shilling and other goods inflation. The inflation forecasts have been revised upwards in the short term, that is 12-month horizon, in light of the exchange rate depreciation. Inflation is projected to rise above the medium-term target of 5% by quarter one of financial year 2024, stroke 25, and stay above 5% throughout 2025 unless monetary policy is tightened. Risk to inflation outlook remain highly dependent on global and domestic environment. Specifically, higher global commodity prices, partly due to geopolitical tension, and an increase in shipping costs resulting from the Middle East conflict, as well as tighter global financial market conditions could result in higher domestic inflation. MPC assessed the risks and the uncertainties of the outlook as being broadly on the upside. Economic growth for financial year 2023 stroke 2024 is projected to remain unchanged with growth of 6%. However, economic growth in the outer years is projected in the range of 5.5% to 6.5% compared to an earlier projection of 6.5% to 7%. The downward revision of growth in the outer years largely reflects the likely impact of tighter monetary policy, which is required to stabilize inflation around the medium term. In addition, the rise in inflation could depress household real incomes, reducing consumer spending, um, while investment expenditures could be dampened um, by high raw material import costs. Moreover, tax revenue underperformance could increase domestic financing, which would crowd out private sector credit growth and dampen economic activity. Furthermore, Sluggish recovery in external demand could reduce Uganda's exports. However, strengthening activity in the oil sector and the financial action tax force fatter removal of Uganda from the gray list 
on February 23, 2024, could unlock additional FDI inflows and somewhat mitigate the negative effects above. Overall, risk to growth are tilted to the downside. The risk to inflation outlook are elevated, and this requires tighter monetary policy stance. Therefore, the MPC raised the CBR by 50 basis points to 10%. The bonds on the CBR remain at plus or minus two percentage points, and the margins on the CBR for read discount and bank rates at three and four percentage points, respectively. As a result, the rediscount and bank rates will rise to 13% and 14% respectively. Going forward, there are prospects for a higher CBR to bring inflation down and anchor inflation expectations or lower a CBR if the risks do not materialize. Faster sustainable growth can only occur in an environment where inflation is low and stable. High inflation rates hurt economic growth, leading to a significant and permanent reduction in per capita income. Therefore, tightening monetary policy in the current circumstances is consistent with supporting sustainable growth, which is a prerequisite for socioeconomic transformation. That marks the end of the reading of the monetary policy statement for the month of March 2024. Thank you so much for your kind attention.